Data centers are, are massive operations. Imagine walking through, say, the aisles of a big box retailer like a Walmart, and instead of having aisles full of consumer goods, you have aisles full of servers. That supports all the services that enable our devices that we use every day, from our laptops to our desktops to our cell phones. A significant portion of the world's computing power is happening inside of these facilities, and they consume a, a tremendous amount of energy. Microsoft sees climate change as a serious challenge that needs to be addressed by all sectors of society globally. So we set a carbon neutral policy in June of 2012 and we set an internal carbon price and we cascade that price through our business groups, collect the funds and invest the funds in environmental initiatives. Business units will see a fee for carbon, both for their energy consumption, uh, which is the energy they consume by hosting services inside of our data centers, as well as their air travel. The carbon fee also supports purchasing green power and we work very closely with our data center team in order to help them fund their long-term power purchase agreements. The power purchase agreement is a long-term commitment to purchase energy from a particular source. And so when a wind developer is looking to get a new project built, in order to get the project financed, they need to have someone sitting on the other side of that transaction that will agree to buy the power uh, over the useful life of the project. Uh, over the last couple of years, Microsoft has entered into power purchase agreements with uh, two different wind farms one in Texas and one in Illinois. These wind farms are nearly 300 megawatts of wind power that's going to be coming onto the system that would not otherwise have been generated absent our participation. We expect the purchase of wind energy to result in several hundred thousand metric tons of carbon offset every year. We've seen a significant culture change across the corporation, really starting from the beginning where we were driving education and awareness around carbon emissions associated with energy consumption, how to purchase green power, and the opportunity opportunities to drive innovation in this space. Federal and state incentives have been a critical component in the development of the renewable energy industry because they've allowed the industry to get to some significant scale. And that's something that has been very helpful to make that renewable energy available and get the supply up to the point where we can actually purchase over 3 billion kilowatt hours of renewable energy. In five or ten years, uh, Microsoft's energy future uh, will look a lot different uh, than what it is today. It will be much greener. We'll have new technologies physically integrated into the data centers, things like fuel cells, micro turbines, and other efficient ways of siting on-site power. And we'll also have a larger array of uh, utility scale resources that are similar to what we've done so far in wind. Microsoft sees this carbon fee as a huge success. Not only do we see the price signal reducing energy consumption, but we also see that the positive uplift of this value chain that happens from the investments turns into an, a complete virtuous cycle that's very positive for the company and for our customers.